watching Hockey on the Board podcast. Now with tonight's podcast, we've got Nick, Ed, and Don. Take it away, boys. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Hockey on the Court. We're joined live. Finally, we have a live guest again, uh, Brandon Woo-hoo. Warner. Um, maybe somebody's stepping in in a little bit. I got a text back finally. So oh, dang. we'll see about that. Um, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and get going here. If you guys have questions, of course, go ahead and ask uh, 100% uncensored unless we decide to censor you. So, <laughs> yeah, makes sense, right? Uh, so, yeah, ask as many questions as you can and uh, see where we go from there. So, uh, Brandon, we usually start with uh, where you started playing hockey, how you started and, uh, till now because I know you're still playing. You want the long version, the short version? I got all night. We got all night. We got all night. <laughs> we got plenty of beer. Uh, first off, Brandon Warner, born and raised here in Huntertown, Indiana. Uh, grew up there. My parents lived just north, north of the town, about five minutes. Started playing as a young kid, growing up through youth hockey in Fort Wayne, playing out at McMillan Ice Arena. Uh, threw up the ranks there. And then um, moved away from home. After high school, played two years of juniors in Pittsburgh for the Pittsburgh Forge. Uh, first year team they started up there in NAHL and played two years there, won a national championship my second year there with them. And then uh, moved on to play, signed a four year scholarship deal with Michigan State, played four years there, won a national championship my senior year there. And after that year, signed uh, with Fort Wayne. Uh, you know, it's something that I've always wanted to do. So, got the opportunity to sign here in Fort Wayne and play other, you know, with some other things going too. And won three national or three uh, Turner Cup championships here with Fort Wayne before uh, <clears throat> finally retiring and starting a real job. You came out so, of retirement though. I did. Mm-hmm. I did. I remember that. It. Two games. Yep. You got it. For, yeah. Uh, for an old friend of yours, I take oh, it. Oh, man. <laughs> what an unbelievable deal that was. You know, it was something that I, I don't think I was quite done with hockey when I did retire, but I did mm-hmm. it because it was, you know, something that I think I needed to do for my family. So it was more, more of that of a decision rather than, and it happened so quick. I, I talked to my, with my wife about it before and, it was, it was all so fast uh, that, you know, I, I didn't have the chance to really soak in what was going on. But, uh, yeah, Chalker gave me a call one night. I was at work, and he said, hey, he said, can you play? And I'm like, I realize I haven't done anything in, like, years, years, two years. <laughs> I haven't worked out. I haven't really been on the ice other than a couple games here and there in the summer leagues. and and text him back and he said i don't care he said i just need some bodies so i said all right let me see what i can do i said i think i still had one more night to work and it was kind of hard on weekends to get guys to want to cover you so called a couple guys and got a deal worked out ended up calling him back and saying hey uh, i'm in so, <laughs> Oh, what an unbelievable experience it was. Yeah, but to play with the boards that break hips. Oh, yeah, it was unreal. I I woke up after we played on a Thursday night. I think it was in uh, Indianapolis. I think it was against the – Against the old fuel? Yeah, the old fuel. <laughs> and first shift, uh, after you've been away for a while, you know, you don't realize the speed of that game and mm-hmm. how quick you lose that. It's unbelievable. And – Puck gets dumped in behind the net first shift. I go behind the net. You know, I was kind of lazy, haven't been playing in two years, and guys coming around, I don't even see him coming around the other side of the net. Just, just smokes me first shift. <laughs> Welcome and, back. Yeah, I'm just like, all right, like we're in it now, you know. Was, and it kind of, kind of woke me up, and but I ended up playing how I played. I bet almost, I don't know, probably logged 20 minutes. Jesus. 20 minutes a game when I played those two games, and Chalker just said after the first one, he was like, "Yeah, that was, that was unbelievable." And I'm like, "Oh, it was so much fun, you know. It was just, it was different." You in for another? <laughs> yeah, I, I would love to. No, I, there ain't no way now. Nah, you could still handle it. Well, you still play. I still play, but not 
It's a little uh, different league. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I I thought I still played when I did those two with them, and then they asked me to do that third going to Toledo the next night, and I'm like, absolutely not. What's the matter? You don't want to go to Huntington Center and get, get uh, beat up on? I woke up at, I woke up after that first one. I couldn't get out of bed. I couldn't really <laughs> sit up, ask my wife. I'm like, I felt like I got hit by a truck. That's Honey, can you help me get out of bed? Right. <laughs> and then Chalker's texting me, and he's like, get up here. You know, got a morning skate next morning. And I'm like, I'm going to come up and sit in the ice tub. You know, like, I, there ain't no way. <laughs> like, oh, what, a, what a great experience. And the, the part that was so cool about that is one thing that really uh, that, that didn't sit well with me after I had retired was I never got to play in front of my kids. It was something I always wanted to do. Yeah. So my daughter, I think, was two, one or two years old at that time. And so that was the first time I'd ever got to play in front of her. So that was uh, kind of a special moment for me. You know, and I, I took a lot of pride in that. I wish I could have played for my boy. But right. So something was kind of cool, aside from just coming back and playing again after hanging them up. So, so <clears throat> we'll jump into, the, into this question. We usually wait a little bit, but we'll jump in. What was your least favorite arena to play in on the road? Least favorite on the road. And why? Uh, probably Muskegon. Muskegon really? or Port Huron? Wow, oh, McMorrin. <laughs> Muskegon or, or Port – probably more, more Muskegon. Yeah. And the only, uh, I think the only reason is, is you know, it's just kind of a – uh, I don't want to say rundown. I don't know if that's. I guess, I guess it was. It was rundown. We're completely uncensored. You're fine. Yeah, I mean, I guess it, it was rundown. Yeah, it was just. Yeah. I, <laughs> did you play in Dayton? As you said, you uh, play in Dayton. Yes. That place was a fucking. I dump. hated Dayton, but I played. I played in Dayton my whole life growing up. Yeah, so, we all did. Yes. Yeah, so that was, was awful. Like, Sewage and you know, the. You're kind of numb to it, I guess. It yeah. Just, <laughs> once you've seen it, kind of like Flint. Flint sucked, but. Flint was rough. Yeah. But. I don't know, man. Dayton was awful. Dayton yeah, was Dayton, bad. Dayton was terrible. But yeah, I, I, there's something about Muskegon, and they were always a tough team to play against. You know, like we always yeah. had. What were they called? So, Lumber, Lumberjacks. Lumberjacks and something else. Uh, Icemen. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the team that moved down to Evansville. Yeah, it was always Lumberjacks. I think it was just always Lumberjacks. It was always Lumberjacks. Yeah. Somebody else correct us if we're wrong. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no that's the team that moved down to Evansville. Yeah, the they were always tough. Right. Them and. Uh, God, Kalamazoo was tough back then, too. Yeah, they had some good teams. Yeah. Joel Martin was in net. Yep. He was still playing there uh, when I – Fury. Back in those two teams. Uh, yeah. Fury. Those two that was another one. Was Fury, yeah. yeah. Fury, that's right. Told yep. you somebody correct us. If we yep. Yeah. <laughs> those greenish yeah. blue Yeah, Joel jerseys. Martin was still playing in uh, Kalamazoo when I came back. He's the assistant up there now. Is he? For uh, – For Bootland. Bootland. Yeah. Yep. What a good guy, man. I've played against that guy my whole life. Who, Marty? Yeah. Yeah. Growing up, and don't ever let him s- settle in. Yeah, you let uh, him settle in. You're done. What a great guy, though. I mean, he was the first guy that come up to me when I got up there, and was just like, you know, hey, welcome. Thanks for coming. And he's like, you know, I remember playing against you. So here's a question: You played for the Forge, right, in juniors? Yeah. Oh one. Two thousand one, two thousand two. Did you play with That's Sterling? It. Yes, I did. Larry Sterling. <laughs> Fucking Larry. You got it. <laughs> That guy was so easy to fuck with. One of my boys, man. Yeah? Yep. I know a lot of people in Fort Wayne dislike that guy. I loved him. I loved him, too. Man, (laughs) unbelievable guy. One of the guys that most people like, love him. Some coaches don't, weren't fond of him. Just I know the guy in Memphis didn't like him. Didn't take Larry, you know? Like, that's just who he is, you know? I'm stuck on Couldn't couldn't take who he is, you know? Like, that's, he is who he is. He is what it is. He wears, you know, he wears it on his sleeve. Oh, yeah. He's going to show you exactly what he is. You know what I mean? <laughs> Doesn't hold back. He was always so tough until he got that first goal. Yeah. And then you oh, could yeah. see his gears start turning. Bubbling. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And that's what it is. It's just, it was a light switch. I'm working on, um, so we do this big Thomas alumni party every year, right? Yeah. And uh, we're trying to get Larry to come down this year from Michigan. Just because everybody in good. Fort Wayne always loved that guy. Yeah. And he had your few idiots that hated him, but. Yeah. You know, Twister always gave him all kinds of shit. I remember we were at a game in Dayton one night, and um, after when he played in Dayton, after the game, I have him. I have a picture of him standing there with us, holding the comet flag. Yeah, <laughs> he was, yeah, I love it. He was awesome. Yeah, man, he was a beauty. You know, yeah, like, yeah, he's, he's a good dude. 
he, he was passionate about the, about hockey and loved to have a good time. <laughs> and you know, like no. I never, I could never have anything when our time that we spent in Pittsburgh, I could, when the bad thing I could say about the guy, you know, was, was he as big a clown in the locker room as everybody says he is? Oh yeah. Just goofball. You know, yeah. Like all the time. Yeah. Everybody said he was a clown. But Ooh. he had a serious, you know, like, yeah, he had, he had a serious side too. That's what Boosh said. Yeah. Because yeah. Boosh played with him, I think, in uh, Mississippi, yeah. River Kings. And he said that that guy like, was. When he wanted to be on, one of the best fucking goalies. You know, like, yep. when I, when we played, when he came and played with us in juniors that year, un- he, I mean, he, he was trying to do so. you know, like he had a goal in mind and he was after it. And he was unreal. <clears throat> so there's a couple, I don't know if you saw, there's a couple questions. Some cool questions here. I, mean, I haven't even been looking at it. It's been talking. How'd you get the name here. Bugsy? And what's your favorite memory playing in Fort Wayne as a kid? How did I get my name Bugsy? So there were three brothers, uh, my brother Dustin, Tanner, and I don't even know it was, if it was squirts, mites around that area. One of the coaches just ended up naming me Bugsy, and then one was Taz, and my, Tanner was Wiley or something like that. So that's how Bugsy came along. and. No great story about it. Just hey, you're Bugsy. Yeah, pretty much the Warner Brothers. That's where uh, it all came from. The Warner Brothers. They picked that the makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. there yeah. you go. Yeah, we're so, not smart enough. You got to walk. <laughs> <laughs> the old school Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we. <laughs> you don't get to see that anymore. No, no more Saturday morning. I was shows. thinking gangster. I wasn't thinking bunny. Gangster. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bugsy the gangster. <laughs> well, that was later high school years. I got gotcha. you. What and then uh, uh, favorite. Favorite, what was it? Favorite, favorite memory playing in Fort Wayne as memory, a kid. As a kid. Yep. Oh, man. I didn't tell him that he was going to have to think back this far. So. Yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, this is oh, <laughs> I good. said I love beer it. in a podcast. Let's go. Probably, <laughs> uh, probably getting to go to nationals, other than the fact of uh, like just being around all those guys and, uh, you know, all the friends that I had been growing up with for 10 years, whatever it was playing youth hockey and Mm -hmm. going to nationals probably would be my favorite memory that last year we went to triple a and, you know, had to jump through all those hoops of playing in a home rink out of Jackson, Michigan, (laughs) because we couldn't, nobody would come to Fort Wayne to play us. So we played out of Jackson, Michigan. Every one of our home games, only games we play at McMillan would be crossover games. Mm-hmm. So, and we made it all the way to nationals and got beat by, uh, oh man, I can't remember even who the team was. We beat, anyways, we beat Zach Parisi. And I think so, that was the, kind of a name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. We beat them to go to the semis and then ended up losing the semis out in Anaheim, California. Play the so, pond. Uh, yeah, we did play there. That place is huge. Oh, it was awesome back yep. in the day. Got to go and we watched, uh, seen a, a Ducks practice. Nice that stuff. So, so Zach Prezi went to Shattuck St. Mary's. Shattuck. Yep. That's who we played. Just a small name. Yep. Yeah. It was Wonderful. just on that video. Just that on that little prep school. School. Yeah. So, yeah. That was back in, I mean, we used to play like all the honey bake, the bell tires. Uh, oh God, honey bake. I was thinking, that, where that the stuff did you come nuts. up with that? Ed, and I remember the yeah. show. Yep. Google. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever play against Culver? Yep. They're always tough. Almost went there. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, I was I was being pushed to go there heavily when I was younger. Yeah? And I just, <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. I don't, you know. Yeah. Was, Prep school's a new monster, man. Yeah, it is. But I had, you know, uh, some buddies that went there, Patrick Johnson, Brian Lefevre, that, you know, loved it. Yeah? And, but I just... I wasn't I wasn't ready and I was perfectly fine with playing in Fort Wayne and then getting that opportunity to go to Pittsburgh. So how about yeah. uh getting poison ivy the day before camp? Ha <laughs> ha Oh boy, <laughs> who was Sebastian. that? Sebastian. Who was that? Seabass is in oh boy. <laughs> <sighs> you asked, didn't you? Got to answer now. You asked if there was anything I wanted to do avoid. <laughs> <laughs> you said bring it on. <laughs> You want to get to any other topics? Go ahead. This is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need a refill? Not no, yet. I got one sitting right here. So, 
I'll, I'll try and slim this up a little bit. It's a long story. So anyways, I'm a big deer hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going into, I believe this would have been training camp. Second year. Seabass can correct me if I'm wrong. Second, second or third year. So deer, deer season just started, bow season. And I had a ground, a ground blind set up out in this, uh, this thicket and decided I was going to try and go hunt. It was a really good morning one morning. Said I wanted to go hunting before practice and hadn't set my, my blind up yet. So I went out extra early, it's dark, pitch dark out. I'm out in this, this shit. It's machete, weed whacking, you know, set this blind up. Anyway, and up starts getting light out, got the blind all set up, and decided you know, about time I got to take a lead. So I got oh, oh no. Uh, you already know, right? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. So don't think anything of it. You know, zipper down, stand outside the blind, take a leap real quick, hop back in there, you know, sit there, wait for, wait for a deer. Sitting there, you know, a couple hours, don't have to see much action, saw a couple deer off in the distance, whatever. Anyway. Starts getting about, I don't know, 8.30 or so. I think we practiced at like 10 back then. So I'm like, you know, shit, got to hurry up, get ready, hop in the truck, and head to the ring. So I walk out, and get, my, get into the truck, head to the ring, take my shit off, get my practice shit on, throw on the gitch, under gear, go out for practice, practice, <laughs> sweat like hell. Oops. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Come in, get undressed, get in the shower. It's just kind of like, oh, man. Like the shower felt kind of hot, like yeah. extra hot, <laughs> just like weird, you know, weird. Tingled in spots that it usually wouldn't tingle. In. <laughs> Don't think anything of it. Hadn't shown any signs yet. Uh, go home, wake back up next morning, and it is everywhere. <laughs> I'm talking from my ankles to my nutsack <laughs> to under my nutsack <laughs> to my armpits to my eyelids oh my wow. god my, behind my ears at least you know he showers everywhere too. and when <laughs> i when i get poison yeah when i get poison ivy like i don't i'm, I'm like i must be highly allergic to it because it like bubbles oh it like gosh. Raises off. oh yeah so oh. you can imagine i won't go into details yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah but ask these guys because when they when i had to skip games because they were like you know, this guy's missing fucking games because he's got poison. poison ivy. Ivy. And I'm like, <laughs> you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> ask, ask these guys because they didn't believe me when I said two. And when I came to practice that morning and they insisted on me, they wanted to see it. So I let her hang. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't exactly what they thought they were going to see either. And it was, yeah, oh, man. That's hilarious. One of the worst the worst feelings of my life oh, well, to body. this day i have never had anything like that i do you pee out of the bluff anymore huh do you pee out of the, the bluff? no anymore? no <laughs> I when i, I get home set that shit up at night in the dark yeah. either if i go to the woods i come home i shower with dawn dish soap <laughs> as soon as i walk in the door you know it's i don't mess her. yeah it was it only took once i had a feeling that was coming <laughs> great. I, I had a feeling that one was coming <laughs> yeah, so there you go that's a and matt sheets is that or not matt josh myers is asking about a hhl oh the hhl he's yeah. never heard i did i don't know it hunter town hockey league uh -huh. mm -hmm. can you hear me now can't hear me. yeah so it's uh something we started up Growing up as kids, we had a oh, pond. That's got a question there. So if it's with the eight HHL. Your mind a bit. Yep, absolutely. He's he's up there. We got a we got a couple guys that, you know, yearly contracts. That uh, they're up there for player of the year. We got another one, Trevor Brown. Uh, those who have played out there know. And oh man, it's just if you guys haven't ever seen it, it's just a bunch of uh. Bunch of bunch of buddies that I've grown up with that don't really get the opportunity to play hockey, and we got a little. Uh, I wouldn't call it a pond; it's more a swamp behind a kid that I grew up playing with my whole life. Uh, Aaron Soper behind his house there, it's a little area that flooded. We used to start as little kids as playing back there, and then it turned into you know four by fours as posts, and we're putting up concrete forms for boards and. 
we're going all out. I'm talking full blown contact. Sounds like a road trip with no pads. And you know, most of these guys are friends from Huntertown, you know, some good old hillbillies that just want to have a good time and, and put some drinks down and get on the ice and give her. That's the only time I ever thought I broke my elbow playing hockey. So, that's more old school hockey. What a uh, what a what a blast though! Like was, some of the some of the boys have come out, you know, Birdie and uh, Boosh, Bobby. Birdie's the one that hit me, and I thought I broke my elbow. Yeah, bastard! So much fun. Uh, that was that was a fun. Couple still days. try to play, but it's just been winter's been garbage. I got to pay attention to these questions here. Oh, Bobby, Bobby Stewart. <laughs> Bobby said. Well, Bobby is from Canada, so you, you, you tell me <laughs> where is that at. I don't know. It's not, not the very bottom. Yeah, this, this is the very last one for me yet. That's funny. <laughs> They're Canadian beers. They're safe, right? I can only imagine what's beers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we 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 uh, disinfected them. They're not Mexican beers, so <laughs> this is a Corona-free zone, <laughs> right? Jesus. No limes. Uh all right. So, uh, who's your favorite teammate you played with? Well, on the case. Favorite teammate. Yeah, I mean, who's the guy you just you hung around with the most? Hung around with the most or favorite teammate? Well, your best best friend on the on the team. We'll go with that. Man, I don't it's hard for me to to pick one guy out. Yeah. There's a lot of guys on that team today. Yeah, that you know, like to. I don't everybody was so close as well. Yeah, so like I can't you win three cups at you get tight. Yeah, but I yeah, I mean some get the guys that hang out with you know every everybody's different you know like do you get the guys that want to hang out with just a couple guys or they just want to go hang oh like gee <laughs> like <he, yeah. laughs> oh yeah we sorry. got told the story about yeah. what warping his stick because he filled it with water oh yeah, yeah macker yeah, yeah. mac yeah. filled it with water yeah. <laughs> that was my <laughs> question yeah he was my yeah. question oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that was yeah, no, it's, you know, some guys, some guys like to, to narrow down who they hang with. And I, I wasn't one of those guys, I man. I like to hang with everybody. Um, I thought it was something that brought teams together. You know, it was uh, something I thought was good. But, uh, man, best teammate, team guy wise, probably a couple of them for different reasons. Uh, I'll give you, if I can narrow, <laughs> give us, Give top you three. three. I'll give, give you three. Top, yep, three. top three. And first one, uh, hands down, Chalker. Colin Chalk. Everybody, everybody says uh, Chalker. Just a guy who would do anything for the team. You know, it wasn't uh, every decision that guy would make that, that had to deal something with the team. He, he, he included everybody. It was whether it was a, a team vote or just coming around talking to you individually, like it was something that, you know, I think he took pride in and would, would never do something selfish for himself. It was always everybody in mind first. So uh, he was, he, he'd be one of them, the first one. Uh, second, I won't put, a, I won't even put them in order. I guess I'm not even going to number them, but uh, Shrocky, Shrocky's there uh, for obvious reasons. The guy just, the passion, uh, you know, we're talking here about men's league before, but. <laughs> Uh, just the passion that guy has for for hockey, for the city of Fort Wayne, for the common organization, for, you know, we've talked many times about growing up. So uh, third, next guy would be Macker. Yeah. Uh, you guys just had him on the show. Mm -hmm. And uh, another one of those, um, I guess, not as in the limelight as Chalker, but same the same type of guy i don't know um, man he was pretty in the limelight and the fans well he was in the well. limelight but you know what i mean like he didn't get he wasn't the point he scorer. didn't get neck nearly the recognition that chalker would have got but yeah. he was one of the he was that guy you know like that's he, he was that guy and he just anytime there was anything on the ice that happened that was bullshit that guy was there you know like yeah, yeah. But it's simple. It's like that guy, and it didn't matter who it was, if he wasn't really friends with him or not, you know, he was going to be there for his teammate no matter yeah. what. And, you know, that was, it was huge for us. There were 
teams that just despise playing us because of that guy. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, and one of those guys where you, you love to have him, but I would have hated to play against him. Right. You know what I mean? AJ. I was always good friends yeah. with, yeah, I, I was, I was always good friends with them. Uh, Seabass, obviously we, we hung out quite a bit off the ice. So our, our wives were really good friends. So uh, I got to become pretty close with Macker you know, for a couple of years he was here. So I remember, I remember the cup party with Macker out there at that one. Oh uh, like, yeah. That was one I remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember which one that is, but uh <laughs> He's a, if he's on here, I'm see Bass is probably still on here. He could tell you that. And, was, uh, Andy said washing your gear during that hunting poison ivy was pretty fun. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it when the, when the guy's wearing it. He's probably still got him wearing our jock straps as respirators right now. Probably. <laughs> you know, N95s are hard yeah, to come by. <laughs> yeah. Still got some of the boys' banana hammocks laying around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hey, you're poking at me you now. I'm going <laughs> to give it back. right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All shit. right, so we got a couple of questions here that kind of all revolve around the same thing. So I'm, I'll just try to put them all together. So uh, top five moments from your time at Michigan State. Uh, and then it's also combined with uh, college good path to go for young players who want to play pro. And then also about the major junior route. Ah. <clears throat> uh. So we'll give top, some serious stuff, top you know? five yeah. moments from state, man. Obviously, I want some bars included in this because I spent a lot of time up. I'll there. give you some bars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, first first one national championship, no doubt about it. Uh, one of the one of the best feelings in my life. One of the biggest accomplishments in my life. One of, um, but. Yeah, that one. Uh, Who'd you play for the title that year? That would have been, and the final was BC. Jesus. Yep. Well done. That's, <laughs> yep. that's not a BU to get there. So you went. Or no, oh, sorry. Vice versa? No, Maine. Even. Well, that's Maine. just as hard. Yep. Yep. Uh, so that one, obviously. Uh, another good one would have been. Uh, you know, just the relationship that that I built with some of the guys there, uh, friends that I still hang out with today. Yeah. Uh, some some of the guys are still playing. Some just recently retired. Others retired more. You know, around there uh, the time that I did. Uh, so that was one. Uh, the bars. Dude, East Lansing. The bars. Awesome. There you go. The <laughs> bars definitely is a is a a memory I'll always have and Rick's Rick's all American cafe, mm -hmm. uncle Ricky's. That yep. was, uh, that was, that was the home stomping ground, the old stomping ground, uh, as, as, as all the others, you know, land shark. Land shark. Uh, man, I had a, I had a night of no memories of, at land shark. So many to name, uh, McClellan, Zach, I saw the name Zach McClellan was on here. There's a, uh, there's some good stories that come out of that place or before that place after whatever it is. And, uh, yeah, that's definitely up there. Next one. Oh man, I guess just getting a degree. Yeah. You know, like that was, that was something that I never, I, I can't say, I don't know if it's a, a fear is a word, but you know, when I went and played juniors, it was kind of like, they start telling you and it's like, you got to start getting ready for college. And it's kind of yep. like, what college? <laughs> I just want to play hockey. Like, I don't, you know, like, yeah, you got to go to college in order to, to play hockey. So, but yeah, that was, uh, that would be, be one of them getting a degree from there. And not that I used it at all. You know, but you got that piece of paper. I got that piece of paper. So, and somebody else paid for it. So there you go. Better. But yeah, that, and then, uh, Lastly, I guess would be, uh, it's just, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, but I used to go to that place when I was younger and go up to hockey camps when, ever since I was like, mm -hmm. hell, I don't know, five, six, something like that, seven years old. I used to go up there and I've got pictures of me standing in that tunnel at 
five or six years old with Comet socks on and a Michigan State jersey, actually. Really? That's awesome. It's kind of funny that since I knew I was coming on this show, I've been putting off a project in my garage to hang up all my old shit memorabilia that I've collected yeah. throughout Pittsburgh. You still got your Pittsburgh jersey? I do. That's awesome. I've got all of them. That's awesome. Come tell Larry. <laughs> yeah, Larry yeah. Smith collects that shit. Yeah, so. Oh, yeah. Stuff. But I lost <clears throat> my thoughts. Right. Where were we at? Oh, yeah. So that Sorry. was my last one. So that's but. cool. <laughs> I went to those camps too when I was a little kid, but I don't have any pictures from the tunnel. That'd be pretty awesome. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was something where, you know, I, I just hung those pictures up with this garage thing I was just telling you about. I saw my old pictures and then the picture of my senior year that we took coming out of there and then on the ice. So That's I had to stand cool. by That's myself. really cool. Wow. It was, uh, it, was whole, it was like, holy shit, you know, like you forget about that stuff. Kind of like a full circle moment. Yeah. That's cool. So, and I've, I've been working on that. But... That's wicked. Yeah. So that was, uh, that's definitely, definitely up there. It was always, I don't know what it was about Michigan State, but it was always something that, I wanted to go there just because it was, it was normal. You know, like I just, I went to all these camps and that was my school. I had Ohio state. I could have went Ooh, gag. Uh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Ferris. Uh, That'd have been okay. Omaha. Uh, Omaha. BG. Yep. BG. What do they say? BGSU now. Yep. Bowling Green. Yep. So, but yeah, it, as soon as, as soon as state, as soon as I got that offer from state, done deal it was done and i got to play i think it was shortly after that my my buddy from there chris lawrence uh signed a contract or signed a scholarship to go there as well and so i ended up playing with this guy for six really important years of my life that's awesome and the guy from pittsburgh or uh, philadelphia pennsylvania and ended up being the captain of our national championship team Nice. So, yeah, it's unreal. You know, it's just stuff that I've I got to look at today as I'm doing this, and it just it's kind of funny, kind of coming on this show. I was like, oh, it's kind of weird that I did that today. You know? <laughs> Everything happens for a reason. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, brings back good memories, though. Yeah, but to go, you go back to the jerseys. So I got uh, in my well, in my basement. I did have before it flooded a couple of years ago. Ugh. Procrastinating. <laughs> so I had, uh, I've got all my jerseys, my championship, my five championship jerseys yeah. framed that uh, a good friend of mine did from Michigan State. And I got them framed with my rings oh, cool. and I had them hanging on a wall. That's there, awesome. So, so I was going to tell you guys, I brought you a little surprise since Leo didn't come, I guess. We got, we got some other guests. So I, I brought uh, that, that bastard. <laughs> I, brought, I brought you guys a little surprise of something that I was kind of looking at today. I brought out from the. Nice. Safe, oh, so. uh, oh. Zach, Zach McClone said, how about house parties? Who had the best house parties? Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> best house party? <laughs> and what street? Because they named them by street up there when I was up there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd have to think about this one. The best ones you probably don't remember. You shouldn't. <laughs> you shouldn't. Not back in those you days. You guys know. If you guys know where this place is, you'll know by not the official name, but it's a place we like to call Okeezy. Sounds gangster, don't it? <laughs> and it was. See, that's where the Bugsy came Oak in. Easy. Oak Hill. <laughs> nice. Oak Hill. Okay. Which is right off of, oh, man, would that have been Grand River Avenue? Uh-oh. <laughs> Oak Easy. Yep. See, my wife even knows. That's my wife. Yeah. Oh, man. What a, uh, what a place. What a place. <laughs> So you want me to go into detail about this? Oh yeah, yeah. Now, now you, you want some to. stories? We got to now. When the, when the wife's right. chiming in here, you got to go into detail. Yeah, we'll go into some stories. So well, that's almost permission, right? Yeah. I mean, oh yeah. So this this was a uh, a house where we had uh, four guys. I think four or five guys that lived there. Um, Zach McClellan, who's commenting on this, oh, is is one of them, and we would absolutely destroy this place every. Weekend. That's the way it's supposed to be in college. <laughs> yeah, every weekend. Well, by Hopefully, some of the boys don't mind me throwing them under the bus in case somebody <laughs> who's listening to this thinks that we were some kind of angels. But 
It's college. We have no yeah. such we, thing. <laughs> we we know absolutely better. destroy this place every weekend, every other day, basically. It's about what I assume too. And, I, and I'm talking some of these parties that were just, you almost think that they're, they're out of a movie, you know, like until you little animal house until style. you've gone and played we went, like a sport or something at college. It is unbelievable. We went to a few of those on our day, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's just it's unreal. Uh, <laughs> We're getting some help with this. Oh <laughs> yeah. He's got a good one. So this was uh, one night come home late from the bar and it was, I don't know, it was probably three or four in the morning. Just had a guess and come back to the classic Oak Easy. And we're upstairs messing with this, uh, this guy that used to live upstairs named Chad Hunt, but he's just a, a beauty of a guy. I got another story. We'll go to this one next. But. <laughs> <laughs> so we're up there messing with him and, you know, liquid courage a little bit. And these guys go down the stairs and it's like, it's a full flight of stairs and they're standing at the bottom and it's got a little nook at the bottom and then it goes down like two or three more stairs and there's the front door or whatever. So they're down there, you know, kind of razzing me, give me shit, but I mean, there's no way that I could stand at the top and jump all the way to the bottom. <laughs> and I, I didn't deny it. I, I was, I was game. So uh, I tried it. And ended up hitting, I don't know, probably three quarters way down, landing, tumbling. And one of the guys, I don't remember if uh, he was standing at the bottom videotaping what he was doing, but uh, one of my good buddies there, Jim McKenzie, and my, my heel ended up swinging over and hitting him, I mean, dead smack square in the nose. <laughs> and ends up busting his nose. And so he uh, goes to the rink the next morning and, and, Obviously, the trainer's just, you know, what happened to this guy? And so I don't remember if he told him or if he didn't, but yeah, that was a good one. So, anyways, we'll go to this, we'll go to this next one. I, I can't lose my train of thought here. So, this Oak Easy, we had, there was uh, two, two or three rooms upstairs. Zach or one of these guys, I'll have to correct me if I'm wrong. I think it was three rooms upstairs. And then there was two in the, two on the main level and then it had a basement and uh this one guy chad hunt that he was uh, a year older than i was uh just a beauty this guy was a uh, unbelievable team guy loved the sauce and when he would get sauced up it was like it was like a different human being came out and and sometimes this guy just wasn't <laughs> he wasn't necessarily the safest I guess to be around to put it in simple terms. <laughs> yeah. That's that, was, that. That was me. That was you. <laughs> so, anyways, we uh we get boozed up one night and we come back home to Okeezy and and uh, he's locked in his room and the boys are you know wanting to know what's going on so we're beating up beating on the door. I think we end up beating the door in, get in there and he he we wake him up. He's passed out and, and immediately like it's just pissed off you know like just fuming and uh so he yeah he, uh, he gets up comes after us and we start running down the stairs anyways and whatever we let him get back up there and hop back in bed and a couple minutes later we go up there and the door's locked again so one of the boys takes i don't even i think it was a sawzall or something oh, <laughs> saws off to the door and cuts out <laughs> like a section of, of the door. So it was like a, it looked almost like a, like a McDonald's drive up window. <laughs> and he cut, he wakes up, comes over there and he's all pissed off, grabs like a, I don't know if it was like a knife or something and ends up chasing us down the stairs out of the house, telling us he was going to stab, like stab <laughs> us. And with a sawzall maybe? No, I don't know. It was, it was something he had in his room. We, we took that, but anyway, so, He's standing at the top of the stairs after he chased us out. We, we kind of come back in a few bit, you know, some minutes later thinking he's passed out again. And he's, he's standing at the top of the stairs and he's tapping this damn thing on. The, I don't know if it was the, the rail of the stairs coming down. And he's just like egging us on to come up there. Like I, he was literally, he was really going to, yeah. I think he was going to stab us. <laughs> so anyways, we let him go to bed and 
uh, I don't remember which one of these guys it was, but ends up lighting a uh, full package of firecrackers and throws the firecrackers inside the room. And it just lit a fire under his ass and we took off and I thought he was going to kill us. But. <laughs> so I pulled a prank on a buddy of mine at college, you know, him, Kyle. Yeah. Uh, Sparky. Yeah. Sparkman kind of, you know, we didn't, we broke in his room. We went home for holiday. Right. Okay. And uh, over Christmas. So before he took off before all of us, he was kind of the kid that we fucked around with mm -hmm. <laughs> in the, in the house and uh, put a dead bat in a CD case, a fish in the toilet that was or a lobster in the toilet when it was dead a whole bunch of other shit. So we came back a day early and we didn't, we couldn't stay at the house. It smelled so bad. I'll never forget Sparkman coming into that house. And there's, we had two houses with a basketball court in between. You just said, God damn mother. Your wife, <laughs> is loading, your wife is loading us up. Yeah. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh yeah. That's a good one there. Since uh, the pink razor chalker pink razor. Yeah. This Ooh, one here boy, on the overflowing toilet. Now. Huh? She the said toilet overflowing. And Nicole's really going off, going <laughs> off with the you pink here. Razor. Yeah. I'm thinking those are together. Oh, the, the pink. oh boy, is that the? Uh, I think I know what he's talking about. You're <laughs> the one that went through Legs' door. Me? I've heard that. No, 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 not me. No, no, Chalker. <laughs> oh, Chalker. Yeah, that's right. Chalker. You, you played with Legs. I can't remember oh, when absolutely. he was there. I played with Legs. Yeah. Let's talk about let's talk about Legs' story. <laughs> let's talk about He's that. He's watching too. So. Who is Lego? Oh, Legs? Yeah. yeah. Hi, Olivier. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't I don't remember if this was the night of the championship. I think it might. I think it was. It was the night of one of the championships because I think what happened was I think we got there and Legs wasn't there. We were having a party at his at his apartment. And he wasn't even there. And he wasn't there yet. I don't remember where we came. If we came straight from the rink, we had to have because we, we were at the rink till one thirty, two o'clock. Whatever time it was. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. But uh, we, we get to Legs' house, and so everybody's like, oh, where the fuck's Legs at? <laughs> Not here. Nowhere to be found. And Chalker, you know, we're, we're, we're deep into it already from partying in the locker room. And. <laughs> He's all wound up, and if you know how Chalker, I mean, if you know how Chalker is, Chalker's, you know, he he's it's a little wild. Yeah, you know, just the way he is in the locker room is the same way he is off the ice. Mm -hmm. you know, so he ends up running full speed and shoulder checking this door and just <laughs> blowing this thing to pieces. This must have been a Canterbury door. Yeah, and, and then it was party on. <laughs> and you know, we're we're inside, and Legs shows up, and he is just furious. And if you guys know how legs is, it was uh, it was something. It was just Start it was really you out funny. In French. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was just what a, what a, what a nice guy he is. But man, I would I like what I hate to be on that bad side. He's a, he's a he's a big human being, so just a bit. So and some heavy hands. So I want yeah, that was the a, overflowing toilet. I don't. I, I can't remember what they're talking. I, the pink razor. I'm wondering. I think I know what that is. But Zach's pretty sure. excited about it, but he hasn't said anything. Pink razor. He's gonna have to give me some details on it this. It looks like uh, the Lego door was on New Year's Eve. Ah, uh, it was New Year. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I thought it was after a championship, so it would have been. Yeah. That just means that he was all tore up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that'd have been a uh, what's that place over there off of Wells? Flashback, or what? What was that? No, it's not flashback. The one, oh, uh, what the hell is it called? It was YOLO back then, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. But there was, there was the, the, other, the other side, there was YOLO and there's something else there. Where it got knifed. I don't know. <laughs> somebody, somebody has to know. Somebody anyway, that's going to bother me. <laughs> I know. I remember You'll think of it going home. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> Early birds. Early birds. Early that's birds. it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. So. Oh, Brandon says the door was after the championship. Uh, yeah, you go ahead and tell. You go, at, you go ahead and tell Nicole she was wrong. Yeah, yeah. No, you guys <laughs> fight about that. We'll worry about this <laughs> We're good with that. All right, what else we got? I I, got I haven't even been looking at these, so I don't know. Yeah, so, I'm kind of rambling. You guys just cut me off. So, no, 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 you're good. I, I've been doing a little looking here. Uh -oh. Mm -hmm. uh oh. So run. You're uh, senior year, <laughs> Michigan State. Yep. You played with Abdul Kader and a midget. Yep. Yeah, and the little fucker. One hell of a good midget. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he annoyed the shit out of us for years. Oh, man, <laughs> which yeah. one? Lurg. We're, oh, yeah. sorry, I cut you off. Oh, Jeffy. So, 
Oh, oh look, who it look who it is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> that means bearded. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so where are you going here? Ah, uh, just. <laughs> What's up, brother? <laughs> my <laughs> man. Oh, shit. What's up, man? Yeah, just you yeah. played with Applicator, Lerd, uh, Boston College, yeah, had Corey now. Schneider, and uh, oh, no. Brian Boyle, yep. Matt Orp- nope. or Andrew Orpik. Yep. No, and his name had guys. Ben Bishop. That was attendee we beat. Big names. Oh, yeah. What's it like playing against guys that ended up being where they're at now or where they got to? I mean, you didn't think anything about it at the time. No, but- no, I mean – you know, I, I think it's just as a player, it's one of the boys. You know, like you yeah. don't. But I mean, you now, get, now you look, look at those guys. There's there's guys that and Leo can attest to. There's guys that you look at and you look at them differently. You know, like there's guys that you recognize that the guy's got something special. You, you know what I mean? You sense that, but it wasn't like I was like, hey, you know, like this guy's gonna this guy's gonna play the show or the. Right. I yeah. guess everybody wants they expect to play there. That's why they they're there. Right. I mean, I'm going more. I think looking back, yep. you know, you're you're playing on the same ice as these guys. Yep. I mean, you beat them. Yep. And now, I mean, they're NHLers. Yep. I mean, that's not something that I mean, you can hang your hat on that. I mean, you can hang I never your hat on that, but that's also things that when you don't get the opportunity to get to that level can can tear you up. Yeah. On the other side of it, once you once yeah, you, you can sit there and go, I fucking beat that. Once dude, you're right? done, yeah, yeah, man. Like I do it. Yeah. You know, I, I've had this talks with I don't know how many people. Like you know, this goes back to the when I went and played for KZ that time, and I I wasn't done yet when I retired. You know, like I shit happened so fast, I wasn't done yet. And there's times where I look back and it's like, should I have when I, when I was at college or when I was. <clears throat> Here in Fort Wayne, was there times that I didn't – I had more to give. You know, like I, I know I do, and, and that shit doesn't sit well with me. And that – it goes back to watching these guys that are still playing. And it's not now, it's not out of spite or anything. It's just – it's more me on my end kicking myself in the ass going, if I'd have gave it that little extra when I was like, man, I'm tired, but you know what I mean? I got – I went out and, you know, drank a little bit too much last night, and now I'm – you know, dog and ass in practice or something, would that have made the difference? I don't know. You know, and that's – so that's the other side of it is it's yeah. it's cool, but to see those guys, and I love it, you know, playing – yeah, it's great, you know, getting the, to brag about it, but I wish that would have been me. Yeah. You know, like, but it's my own fault. So yeah, that happens – sorry, to cut in. But yeah. That happens to a lot of guys, though. You know what I mean? Like, there's guys that were uh, – there we go. You know that yeah, played with NHL guys or whatever, and who probably had the skill or or should have been up there, and it just didn't happen. You know, I mean, if it was yeah. politics or if it was yeah or or whatever like that. So, um, but for Warner, I mean, I think when he retired, I was actually like, "What the fuck are you doing, man? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We got we got championships to win. Like, yeah. let's, let's keep Why? Going. But yeah. um, I know you know because he was young and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was just weird, man. Just to jump in late, I got here late, but this guy was one of the fucking best teammates, man. Like, I know when I was on a couple weeks ago or whatever, I was on talking about the guys, and he's he's one of the guys, man. His family, the parties were at his house when we won championships. <laughs> we talked about it. I'm sure you did. I'm oh, sure you did. So I, can, I can't even remember half of it, but yeah, right. Really um, <laughs> but no, it was just it's a good time, man. So did you ever get poison ivy from him? Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't. See now you got the witness here, yeah. <laughs> guys. If you're one of the believers, uh, you know there were there were the epic parties though, man. And, yeah. Um, his whole family, man. His mom, his dad, man. They're just great people, man. And always took care of the boys. And, yeah. Um, you know the big firework uh, blast off at his house too. And, I think the cup ended up in the swimming pool a couple times. Oh, yeah, it did go right. for a dip, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, ah. so, <laughs> I don't know who no, did that. Good. <laughs> it was a good time. <laughs> so I had to come over, man. Yeah. Down the street, oh, so I'm so glad he did, man. Boy. One of my boys. And <laughs> for sure, but. I'll never forget the first time this guy, and I, I didn't want to bomb in, I think. I don't remember if I was working when you were on, but I, I remember when, when, uh, when we signed him out of Bloomington. 
And the first day he shows up to practice. And uh, I think I was one of the first guys to go up to him. And I was just like, you know, thanks for – glad to have you, you know, as, as a D-man playing this guy. It was, you know, something that I, I hated every time he got on the ice. I was like, fuck, I hope we don't got a match up against this guy tonight. You know, <laughs> just turns on the Jets and gone, but minus every other time you're on the ice with him. So, but no, I was, you know, and we've had – Played what three? Yeah, three, three years, years together in Fort Wayne. Two, yeah, two one two. Rings. Only year he wasn't there was the first year. Yeah, yeah, Bloomington. the triple overtime one. Yeah. Yep. So, well, that was good. Man. So it was just man, I had a unbelievable career with you. Some of the best times, you know. Obviously for both of us. <laughs> Absolutely. Still both here in Fort Wayne. Got families. So you know, it was just yeah, definitely kids. See, and that's you guys <laughs> put me on the spot with with naming these guys, and that's the shit that. Off. I did. You know, the, like, I, I, I did. The he same probably thing, said, huh? "Yeah, it's yeah, like you I can't." He thing. sat that. He sat there for a good four or five minutes. There's, like, oh like, shit! Like I left out a bunch of people. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So here's one. Th- I'm doing a uh, a Zoom a Zoom chat with a guy mm-hmm. tomorrow. Patrick Johnson. He was on here. I saw his name on the guy. I, you know, uh, Doug Johnson, the old guy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Old comment let's get. That's his son, oh, wow. and uh, I grew up playing with this guy my whole life, and asked me to talk to his college lacrosse team. And uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's yeah. Awesome. So I was just, uh, you know, I was telling him, I was like, uh, you know, something that he asked me, you know, you've won all these championships. What was, was there something, you know, special or something? What, what was there one thing that you could say about all these teams? And I said, you know, it was the boys. Close knit. The boys. And I said, it doesn't matter. What it was that we were doing, I, I told him this on the phone just yesterday. I think it was. We talked forever. I said it didn't matter what it was that we did, but we did everything together. Guys that necessarily – not everybody gets along, man. You know, like oh, yeah. a lot of different guys together and different mixtures of emotions, and, you know, personalities and all kinds of shit. But we did everything together, and we had the best of times, you know, had hella good parties. You know, which was which was good. You, you got to do that shit to get away from the ice, to get away from everything. Clear your minds. Just, yeah, clear your eyes, reset, come back, ready to work. I think we said this when Leo was on, but those three years that you guys won those back to back to backs, those are the tightest tightest comet teams yeah, that I've I, I still ever hear watched. that from this day. Yeah. When I go to comet games and fans come up to me, man, they're just like, it's not. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it'll ever be that way yeah, again. I, here. The you, next closest. You know, was, Shass, yeah, yeah, I talked to him when he was here in Fort Wayne, and he asked me the same the same question. And I said, "Dude, if I can tell you one thing, it was get these boys together. However, however that is, if it's just you know going over to a coach's house for dinner, which I'm sure a lot of us took it for not really granted. I guess isn't the word, but like yeah, something uh, you had exactly, to do. Really, yeah, uh, we used to go over there, you know, but." And not, and not that it was a, like a one of the favorite times that we had as you know teammates, but that was just stuff we that we did. Together. Yeah, yeah. Like shit that we did. That yeah, was cool. at the end of the day, man, like these guys, you don't even have to think twice. Like I knew what the fuck Leo was gonna do before Leo even knew what he was gonna. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like you just be like, well, fuck! I remember Saturday. You know what I mean? It's yeah. that's just. And I've told numerous guys, and that's what I'm gonna talk about it tomorrow. Is is just the, the team unity. Yep, and I think the game has changed, and the, the guys have changed oh, as far as just a bit <laughs> what they do. Like it's, you know, a, it's more individual go, now. Yeah, want to like go crazy. chill, which is fine. I mean, that's all cool. But if you've asked, I'm not trying to be cocky or anything, but then they people at like you won five championships. Like yeah, I didn't win five championships, but I was on five championship teams, yeah. and that's one thing that me and the all boys five of those five. teams fucking had. They had, they had that. You have to to win it. That's what you have to have. During the seasons here, we fucking knew, like, pretty much every game. Or, like, we're winning this. Yeah. Like, (laughs) nobody's going to beat us. If we we didn't, if we didn't, it was the end of the world. Yeah. yeah. You know, like. It was weird. There was a fight in practice or something. What year (laughs) was it that uh, you guys only lost a few games? What year was it that you played? Seven or something? It was one year we didn't lose very many. Yeah. About 11 games the whole year, maybe? That's it? Yeah, that that's just. But that's, that's like okay. you said. That is the that's <laughs> the mentality, yeah, yeah, man. We like, knew, yeah. like, we, and we, we were we were probably sitting there going, 
what the fuck did we do not to win those seven? You know, like, yeah. Yeah. how did we lose that? And that's what it is. Who fucked up? Yeah. Bush is probably in that, too. Yeah. <laughs> he is watching. I know. I love Bush. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, you were feeding, so so you were feed, he was feeding shit on that show, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh on the... Uh, <laughs> on Bush's show. I got to yeah. throw yeah. a jab at Bush, man. Yeah, we've already it. talked about Disney on Ice, so... Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Nice. We need a shot at Seabass. He's the one that brought me into that whole story. Yeah. Yeah. Is he in? Where's he living now? I think he's still. I think he's up in Quebec. I think is he's he? on too. I think he's. Uh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. He was on. Yeah, it. he was. He's yeah. the one that brought up the. Whole he was the poison ivy. Poison ivy. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Got into that. Ashley said that your parents are awesome driving you around, driving you around in the RV. Ashley for Warner Bago. What's, what's oh, he? what's he? <laughs> yes. Oh, what a good time. Well, well I mean, playoffs, right? They, yeah, the, yeah, 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 playoffs, but all they like they would go every. Yeah, what it was. Playoffs, it was like I'm I'm sure they exceeded the uh the occupancy right. of what the motorhome was supposed to be going on. Wherever the hell they're going, Port Yeah, Port Huron and a full a full wet bar set up inside of there, and these girls come out just looking like it's three in the morning before the game even starts. You gotta play a hockey game, it's like <laughs> what's going on here yeah, yeah. Like, so, no but it was awesome man I, my parents love that shit they, you know that was my, obviously my biggest fans growing up you know other than my wife you know my dad my mom were my biggest fans and like leo said they love they loved it for other people too like you know yeah. they they loved being around the guys the teams that they wanted to be involved and you know that was just uh i think that's kind of what we were talking earlier about you know i'm not one to kind of go off on my own i want to be with all the guys i want to yeah. hang out with all the guys so i think that's where that came from is my parents you know like they just they want everybody to be included and yeah i think that's why they like having these parties is you know they they're they're i guess blessed to be able to provide that for these people and yeah and let people come out and enjoy it and be together. You know, that's a huge part of what, you know, what we stand behind in our family. So that's kind of like my dad. Now we have a lot of the guys now come up to the house because we have a place like what you, your parents have. Yep. And uh, they love coming up there. So, uh, <laughs> Having a couple, fun, man. a couple of times. We're going to have all you guys up this summer. So Lots of good memories there. I see Larry's comment. Larry Schmitz. So Car dealer shit. <laughs> and he replied too. See if I replied after that. <laughs> yeah, all three of them. <laughs> yeah, I've seen pictures of some of Seabass's toys on Facebook, so I think he's doing okay as a, as right, a person. Man. <laughs> Laplante, the Ford dealership. Just wait. Uh, I'm trying to think Just of the, the closest knit team since. Is it that right, Seabass? That Ford dealership. Somehow I'm thinking he works for Chevy. <laughs> that Blue Oval. That Blue Oval Ford dealership. Something, There's nothing wrong with Somebody Ford. here drives yep. a Ford. Yeah, that's right. Besides all of us. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good stuff. Well, my shot back at him. All of us. What, Leo, what do you drive? I have a Durango. Fucking, that's the one guy. <laughs> I don't have the Blue Oval on my. I got a Jeep, too. I guess I got two Fords. Yeah. I have Ford I have products. I have three. Yeah. Ugh. I got three two and Fords, a charger. Two Fords that have been in the shop a lot. Yeah. But I still love them. <laughs> See, Bass. No. All right. Anybody what else? Got any questions? What else you got? Oh, man. We can come up with all See kinds Bass of shit. One you day you'll learn, Warner. What's that? <laughs> he said, one day you'll learn, Warner. One day. <laughs> well, since Leo got here uh, a little late, what's your favorite memory of playing with, with Brandon? Favorite memory? We'll let you think about it. Brandon, what's your favorite memory of playing with Leo? We won't let him think about it. I mean, uh, other than the other than the championships. <laughs> yep. That's number uh, one all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, you, you know, that's a, you that's can't a, go with the cup. That's, that's always given. number one. Yeah. Oh. I would say – like, are you talking, like, what do you want? Like, 
What's the funniest memory? The funny, What's the there funniest? There you go. Okay, the funniest memory. memory. Bert, you uh, should have a shit ton yeah. of these. I, he, I, I, he, he probably, probably knows. He probably already knows what it I'm has going to. Be to. The radio, huh? Were you there for that radio? Uh, the radio deal. If he wasn't, we're gonna hear about it. <laughs> now, <laughs> we gotta hear, now we got to hear both of them. No, I was gonna. I was gonna say. Were you here when Stazer was here? Yeah. Oh yeah, Stazer so there. <laughs> was it the the USA thing? I came I came I, walking in the locker room and <laughs> she was talking about it on the radio and Oh no. Okay, yeah. No. Okay, then don't worry about it. <laughs> oh no. Oh, no. Yeah. Is, oh we're, we're so, gonna have to have it now. We'll we'll get back to you. you guys, <laughs> I think Macker brought this up when he was on about the uh yeah, he did because he was talking about Bobby. So like the World Juniors. Yeah. The year when uh, USA beat <laughs> yeah. Canada. And he went fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> he was one of them who – I don't remember if it was those guys. I didn't really – you know what I mean? I didn't really – Yeah. I wasn't one that was bragging about it. So, you know, I, I understand. <laughs> but it was cool. You know, like I was proud. Yeah. Yeah, he was one that I think was – Really got agitated by some of the shit that was going on. <laughs> Who was from Canadian? Macker, yeah, Macker, yeah. yeah. Who else? There was somebody. There's quite Bobby, a few other Bobby guys, was but one of them for sure. Because I think that was about it. that was one of them. Yeah, he said there was a lot of guys in the locker and got pretty salty over the mm -hmm. That made him go even harder. But you know, it's just things like that. We were always it's just little things, but. Shit that we always had fun doing, you know what I mean? Just oh, yeah. little little quirks like that that <laughs> got guys, but it was all in good fun, you know. Like it was, so yeah, that was that was probably a, a, a good memory, other than acquiring him, rather than playing against him. So, so about this radio, yeah. What about the radio? Oh. Okay, yeah. So, <laughs> I hope she's not listening. It, it was kind of messed up. So, um, it was like kind of when I first got here in Fort Wayne, and I was already kind of talking. It's like, Talking to another girl, kind of thing, and then uh, I'm sorry for listening, babe. <laughs> uh, so we will go unnamed. We ended that? up uh, ended up meeting this girl at a bar somewhere. Wow, what's that place out Southwest? Anyway, so she worked for 107.9. Okay, and uh, you know we were talking. Nothing really like went. We didn't go crazy or anything like that. But we were talking. So then it was like a couple days later. I come walking into the to the locker room, and it's just fucking. They they're blaring 107.9. I'm like, what the fuck's going on? He <laughs> remembers <laughs> now. So <laughs> so I walk in, and this girl's like talking about, oh, I'm with a comet, and I met a comet player, and we're dating, da da da. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> Trophy wife. So that uh, <laughs> so. So somebody calls in. I forget who it was. One of the boys runs out of the locker room and calls in. She's like, oh, okay, can you tell us what player it is? Da, da, da. And she's like, no, I can't really do that. And um, What did the guy – it might have been Mac. I don't fucking know. One of the it guys, wouldn't surprise me at all. And uh, he goes, <laughs> well, that goofy smirk is on he a black guy? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> The room, and like, hate to really single yeah, it out, but like, <laughs> nobody's even getting dressed. Like, we're all fucking tuned into this. And I'm sitting there, like, I was livid, man. Like, for one, I didn't know why she was talking about it on the air. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just, like I said, we just talked a few times. But the boys fucking loved it, man. Just and then, straight through it right oh, out there, man. too. No, you know what I mean? Straight right to the couch. Right to, <laughs> right to the... <laughs> I'm dating a comment. Oh, like, I was just like, holy shit. Those that's, boys that's were just... Right to the yeah. heart of the but, city there. Everybody oh, they, hear that. they were loving it, man. And I was just sitting there like, I was so... I wanted to leave, man. I was going to I was gonna put my clothes back on and, and go <laughs> But then I remember, I'm like, whatever. So we go out for practice, and I'm just fucking living. Running guys, <laughs> <laughs> somebody's head's fucking going. I'm like two handed guys. And Stazer comes up. Stazer comes up to me. He's another fucking beanie that day. Yeah. Um, I was like, hey man, don't worry about it. That I, at the time I was pissed, man. But when I got home and the next day, cooled off a little. That, well, yeah, that's laugh. just the kind of the, yeah. the group it was, man. Like yeah. I just had the best, best. You know, I had so much respect and the best time with those guys. So 
But at that moment, man, I was fucking oh, yeah. livid, man. I was, <laughs> was going to lose my shit, man. But, it's like one of those times I, where you start a, a fight on the team. It happens, yeah, you know? Right. But, and I'm surprised it didn't like happen. Said, that's the way it is. It's that's probably it because... That's probably because McMillan started it, and I wasn't trying to fight him <laughs> yeah, in right? practice. It probably, <laughs> yeah. probably take, wouldn't have been a good your, yeah, pick your spots pick wisely. Your spots, man. So, um, but it was a it was an awesome awesome time. Hey, here's a new question for you. What are your tattoos about? What are my tattoos about? So obviously, I know one. Self explanatory. <laughs> American keys. Uh, love the Florida Keys. Is that Hockey. Good? And then uh, diving. I love a certified diver, spear yep. fisherman, fishing rod. So soon, I was actually yesterday. I told you guys yesterday I was supposed to have a tattoo appointment and finish yeah. up. The cups are going up here. Nice. Yeah, so good. that's going to be the uh, final. So you you so. fish. So have you gone gigging for flounder down there? Nope. What? No flounder. Oh, that's I like to have to change. I like the big shit. Yeah, but you got to go gigging shit. Give me two, but I gotta go gigging. <laughs> gigging have, for flounder. We're gonna have to I go gigging flounder. Gotta go gigging one of these days now. Where's that? In the golf? Yeah. The golf. Well, I mean, you can go on a golf or down there. You can go to the Atlantic side and they're there. In the Keys? Yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Up by see us. I don't know if we see. You can go. Well, I mean, I, I, used... I don't think there's a lot of flounder up down there. They have them, like off of Largo. They have them. So I used to do it up uh, when I worked for the Ice Flyers in Pensacola. We would gig all the time, and I always thought it was dumb as shit. Like I'm gonna go tromp through the swamp at night and. And then I did it once, and I speared the first one I saw, and I was like, oh, fuck, here we go. Oh, shit. So I was after that. And then, you know, same thing with Red Snapper. I was like, ah, oh, it's just a fish. Hey. Nope. Anything day, with would, fishing, I'm in. I drive a 1,000 miles today to go fish for that shit right now. And yeah. you, you never took me gigging. What the fuck? That's because you're fucking. <laughs> never <laughs> took you gigging, huh? No. Took I, I, a guy. Up here. I lived down I there for six months. What a guy. I know. Yeah, whatever. I was too busy drinking then. Hucks. Hucks. That's another one we've been trying. Hey, since you're watching, fucking yeah. come on here. Get a haircut. Get, oh, well, yeah. That God. <laughs> <laughs> that was Hucks, a- get a haircut. Everybody's <laughs> asked for you to come on here, so you got to get on here. Send us a message. Hucks yeah. is a weapon. <laughs> what a weapon. He'll be on the uh, trainer's table. You could catch him there. <laughs> <laughs> Every morning. Every, every morning. In an hour and a half. Oh, I love Hucks, man. I've I was good friends with that guy too. One of the guys who was here, you know, from when I got here, when I first came to Fort Wayne. So yeah, yeah, it was uh, like he said, just a one of those guys who, during the regular season and through like the, like the I want what do you want to call it, like the trenches of the year, you know, kind of might slack off a little bit or not really there, but then come Ah, crunch time, oh he's a fucking gold. Come crunch time, that guy is. One of the, probably one of the fucking most lethal guys I yeah. played with. You Both know, like, of the ice, yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So uh, Paul Walker asked, or Paul Wicker asked, did you get a big buck this year? Did I get a big buck this year? No, I didn't. I shot a doe. But I did have a hell of a story with uh, my, my cousin's boy. So I ended up, you know, I love deer hunting. I love fishing. I like teaching it to younger kids too, younger people. I can't wait to teach my kids, but uh, I took him out for the first time this year, got him his first deer, but we ended up losing a buck, but a uh, hell of a story. Ended up getting published this year, and uh, you guys ever heard of the Drury Outdoors? Yep. So I got a story about it published in there. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really cool. So, but no, I didn't get one this year. Next year, I got a new bow, so. Nice. I better get one. What pound? 75. That's better than me. <laughs> We're running at 60. I feel like a puss yeah. now. <laughs> got a new, just got a new Matthews. So. Uh, I like to sit out a mile and shoot them, so it's okay. Right. Yeah. It's a little more fun. <laughs> Take a 30 out 6 and poke at them. I got a 308 that I go out. There you go. With. But uh, uh, we never did hear what, you, what the funniest memory of this guy is besides, you know, the radio didn't count. Say, I think right before you got, were you here when we talked about Legs' door? No. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Well, well actually, I was, was watching it. it. Yeah. I was watching it. I was driving on the way here. Um, shit. That was funny too, man. 
Rachel's watching now too, so. <laughs> oh yeah, she remembers. <laughs> she remembers. You blast your door open, probably. Pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. So I'm pretty sure right, did that come owing for that. That I wasn't was a cup, it. right? Yeah, because I wasn't was there the yet. Cup. I wasn't Has there. Yeah, it was after the championship. B-day, but I B-day there said yet. it was after the cup. Nicole said it was New Year's Eve, but I thought it was after. The cup. I thought it was after the cup too, because I'm pretty sure that was uh, that was the night that was it cold. What was it cold outside? I tell you. <laughs> not to us. I can't, I can't not to us. Yeah. We have that yeah. much alcohol in. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Because yeah. when when that stuff happens, it's like man, guys like go off and do other shit real quick, like to try to yep. meet up at another party. When it's, yeah, go change, or so some guys like, don't change. Some guys wear yeah. their fucking gear there. Like you're leaving the rink already pretty <laughs> shit faced. You know what I mean? So, um, like Veroni that one night, me and Veroni, holy fuck, like it was it was nuts. When we left the rink, it was. Somebody was like passed out outside the Coliseum under a tree already. Like it was, it was nuts. Dude, some of those nights were unbelievable. Yeah. So, it's, so Nicole says it was cold, but it was after the cup. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure that's. Because uh, I missed it. I, I was there late. Like I was on my way there. I so you're there after. after so you walked after in surfing. the door, was, being uh, there. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. After surfing. Yeah. <laughs> so. Paul asked, they probably don't know this Bertram's a hell of a surfer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, think, I think we need some more context with that. Yeah, we've already got <laughs> a yeah, You guys should get him on here. Yeah. Yeah, get Bertie. Bertie. Yeah, Bertie should come on here. So we'll save that. That will be my All first, right. right. first question. That you can ask Bertie. Ask him how he does in the Pro-Am <laughs> surfing. <laughs> and we're getting – Paul's giving you quite yeah. a few here. Yeah, he's asking – Who's your uh, favorite ice bodyguard? Icy bodyguard. <laughs> Icy. Who's my favorite? Uh, I say, uh, of all of them, I think I was the best. <laughs> so, I don't know. There was a. I've got. I don't know if there's a picture there. There was a picture floating around. I think it was after the third cup. They were down partying with us, and they had had the the head down there. And so I ended up finding it. Back, oh, shit. finding it back by uh back by the sh- I think it was in the back by the showers in our cha- in our changing room before you get to the showers, and ended up putting it on and coming out, and they were both standing there. I snapped a couple pictures, but no, uh, was, uh, they were both awesome. How much did it f- cost to fix the cup after the uh, after the pool party? Who knows? We didn't fix yeah. it. We didn't make it. <laughs> I can tell you this. Much. <laughs> I can tell you this much. When... <laughs> Who asked that? Paul, Paul Wicker. Oh. I can tell you this much. There, there's probably about two rolls of clear tape. There's some <laughs> tape so. on that some bitch when we had to take. <laughs> hopefully, <laughs> I, I hope Uncle Dave's not listening or anybody. Else. Yeah, no. Isn't that cup still at the Coliseum? Did they have it in that trophy case? There's a the cup. Yeah, there's a so couple there, right? Yeah. So, yeah, there's, oh, a, no. there's a lot yeah. of clear plastic sock tape on that. Bitch. Nicole wants to know how long it took you to take it off your head. The cup. Yeah, I knew that one was coming, too. <laughs> Did your head get stuck in it? I didn't it? think it was quite coming from her, but I thought it was too much. Almost. 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 <laughs> Almost. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, there's some pictures of that. So. That uh, was a uh, late night. It was probably, it was, I don't remember which party it was, but. We need some of these pictures for Instagram. No oh, shit. man. Oh, no I, shit. I got some of them. They're on my Facebook. We'll go help you. They're on my your... Facebook page, so you can scroll back. And oh, there we go. Take a look. God, I don't want. want to scroll back that many years now. Yeah. Oh, man, so this was like. I ain't got that much time. I have all the time. Oh, it was like four or five in the morning. I don't remember what it was, but we ended up, obviously, the cup got tossed in early. Top was busted off of it. And everybody had left, and we were. My parents got a hot tub uh, just right outside the pool there too. And yeah, I think it was me and Macker and Seabass, and I don't know if there's a couple other people left or not. But we were the ones that were in the hot tub, and our wives were all in there, and they had. I don't know. We somehow I ended up getting in the pool, and I had the cup, and we were taking pictures with it. And I went to go set it down. And I was like, oh, this almost sets on top of my head. You know, it'd be like a pretty damn good idea to stick it on there. It'd be a funny picture. So I stick it on top of my head. And then they take the picture. And I go to pull the bitch off. 
and I can't get it off. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> it's got, it had like a rim, you know, yeah. it had like a rim around the inside of it, of wood. <laughs> and I don't know how my nose went over it and then I couldn't get it to come back off. Oh, that was down over your nose. Yeah. I thought it was. Oh, no, it was all the way to my oh, shoulders. Shit. And so I go to pull it off and it won't come off. Oh, shit. And uh, Macker and Seabass, are, they're fucking rolling. And I think they were, you know, sitting there like, take him to the ER, yo. If I can take him to the ER, go get this fucking cup cut off his head. And I'm freaking, like, first I thought it was funny. And then, I'm, like, once I couldn't get it off and it was, like, killing me, I, I started to freak out a little bit. And I'm yeah. standing in the pool still trying to get this fucking thing off my head. <laughs> eventually, I eventually I got it. But it took me, it took me probably 30, 35 minutes. Oh, my gosh. Damn. I'd have, I'd have went yeah, yeah, it almost yeah, broke. Yeah, sure. I it almost broke my nose. I'm claustrophobic. I would have been going nuts. Yeah, there wasn't much room in there. It was. I, I was pain. I didn't even sure. know that. What Brandon says right here. Brandon he says Brony and Letwin try to take it to Home Depot. <laughs> 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 I had no idea about that. That's funny. Uh, Brony's one guy who I got to get some pictures from him. He's one guy who probably has the most epic picture. One of those guys. So yeah, he Flitty. showed me a few back in the day, man. And oh. So I got, I gotta try to get some from Brony, man, for sure. Cause I know he's got some fucking awesome picks. So so here's so a question for things. for both of you guys, because you played with him, because he just logged in to watch. What's your funniest Rocky story? Huh. Funniest Rocky story. Whether it's on the ice or away. Or men's league. Uh, or men's <laughs> league. Or men's league. We'll go we can even go that far. Men's league's funny, but that's just uh, it's just typical Shiraki. <laughs> In a good way, he knows if he's if he's listening, he knows I'm poking around with him. Uh man. Mine mine's probably Halloween party. I was completely shit faced, acting like an idiot. Just... And uh he's dressed up as the karate kid. No, Balboa. Rocky, Balboa. Balboa. Oh, he's dressed that. up as Balboa. It was imagine 70s, that. yeah, sure. right. Or 80s, 80s party. Yeah, it wasn't Halloween. Yeah. 80s party. He's dressed up as Bubba. I'm dressed up as Rev from Run DMC. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> classic altercation. I could, yeah. I was, I was so I was too drunk and I was acting like an idiot. And, uh, we kind of just wrestled out in the driveway there a bit. Just tossed me to the ground. That was pretty funny. Like the next day, next day I gave him a big hug and it was yep. back to normal. But, but that was probably my. Thing. It goes back to it, yeah. like you know, like that's just the shit. Yeah. 80s party, like you said. 80s yeah, party. 80s, that was hey. awesome. Everybody was their girlfriends. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. Was the radio lady there? No, she was done. Uh, <laughs> I'm in. Yeah. Hey, after that morning, that radio girl was She was done. Right. Right. <laughs> I think was it was a, before we even got on the ice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was a wow. done deal. Who's autographs worth more between you? I mean, ours? Neither, yeah. neither one of them's going to oh, fucking well, get you much. Warner's, but... man. <laughs> Warner's 100%. He's from here. No. He's a he's a legend. Uh, I said neither one of them are worth shit anymore, but. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's still getting royalties from a movie, so you never know. That's right. Hey. That's right. We all watch, watch that movie. Go watch Love Guru, please. Uh -huh. We're watching it. We watch get that the plug, baby. That. Come on. Yeah, didn't we get you something a couple weeks ago? Uh, uh, <laughs> you got to check. That is it true. might only be a couple dollars. But hey, it's it's all right, man. I need that, that right now. So. That should have been the other one. Yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> all right. What's your... Uh, what's that it? get brought up when you were on here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did it? All right. Yeah, yeah. We can still try to I say I was in and out. I think oh, I... We've been We've been trying to hunt down the jersey for Yeah, we've been hunting the jersey like crazy. We'll find it. That shit's coming. We're going to find that jersey. That's what's uh biggest fight do you remember? Biggest fight. Yeah, what's what's the best fight you were ever for in? For me? Both. <laughs> well, I mean we already know you want me to I'll, pick out of my like, seven that I had in four years. I, <laughs> fuck. Uh probably that one. Oh man. Probably when I fought was it that Martinowski after I uh <laughs> Fucking killed. I What's remember that shit. Robin Bouchard. I remember that shit. That was that nasty. was probably my, my, my you favorite went nuts. one. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, not much of a fight. But nope, it ended pretty quick. Yeah, a couple punches <laughs> thrown and <laughs> done deal. Yeah, nice. but yeah, that's about it for me. 
Yeah, mine. I don't know. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go the opposite direction when I got beat up, but it was fun because it was Frank Littlejohn. <laughs> ah, there you go. Yeah. Little John? And oh. I was a rookie. I was a rookie. No you learn. You learn pretty quick, huh? It was two punches, man. And two <laughs> shots. Real but quick. It's one I you can them. put on your belt. And I loved it because even when he saw me the next time, he was, I still guy. talk to him to this day. Yeah, what yeah, a guy. He's huh? from Ontario. And every yeah, time I go back home. Yeah, and, unreal, man. He uh, didn't know he was a uh, you know, gold glove boxer back then, too. Yeah. So he kind of gave out. it to me, found out right away. <laughs> but yeah. that was mine. When did you fight him? Was that I was like my no, – I, I was, was going to say, I, yeah, I think you fought him when you are here. My rookie year in Flint was 02, maybe? I don't Really, honestly, I don't was remember it, any fights that you had here. No, Mac no, was I really good. I wasn't a big fighter. No, no, yeah, yeah. I wasn't. A big you didn't have to. Yeah. Okay, you had, well, I had a good one against Macaulay. I think it was. It was at home against Bloomington. I think. Yeah. Uh, whenever the Thunder. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was a pretty decent one. But no, oh, this was back in the UHL days, man. Like oh, the U-Haul. 304. Yeah, yeah. Oh, three. Okay. Uh, and, Gotta love uh, the U-Haul days, huh? Yeah, I picked him <laughs> and. <laughs> regretted, it. <laughs> regretted it right after, but like I said, he's an awesome guy. So that was probably one of my fights. That I one, one that Mac that said it's one. He's one of his best friends. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was saying. Yeah, I, I knew, you know, I was good friends with Mac. And that was. Uh, did you did you fight anybody down south or not? I don't remember. You ever, yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, you I ever. fought Siegel too. Another, another, another guy. Another guy that's like a good friend of mine. That, yeah. <laughs> you? I don't remember that. Yeah, I were fought you in Pensacola then. Or he was in Pensacola. I was in Mississippi. I guess why I don't remember it. It was like our last years of playing, man, and we we're like sitting there and it's like he's like same age as us. Yeah, like Lego thirty four. Yeah, yeah Lego one punched him. Lego one punched him, but oh, no, he was a guy too. Where we're at the end of our careers, and you know, I've been ran over one of his teammates or something, and then he came in. We went at it for a little bit and gave him the tap on the helmet, and then we get back to the penalty box, and we're both look at each other like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> like, we're too old for this shit. We're too old, guys. <laughs> so, supposed to leave that for um, the young guys. Yeah. Trying to make it work. But he's another guy, man. That's, he's been around for a long time. An awesome guy. So. And we got somebody who wants to get their uh, their, their Warner trading card signed. I need mine, too. So I'm going to bring it next. I'm going to get you a sign. All right. <laughs> It's when we go to the golf course and stuff like that for the alumni party. There we go. Just give them a marker. Here you go. We're going to get a game going, man. Yeah. We were talking about that last time, too. Nah, this year for the alumni party, we're going to have a golf day the day before the okay. party. That way, we're going to roll with that, huh? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna do like it. That, that way we can all get tore up. Hey, Larry just sent me a video. Oh, no. Oh, is this a seagull? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Oh, this is it, huh? yeah. I do remember but, that, actually, because uh, uh, that yeah. was, what, 2014? Hey, what, man? For no bigger 16? than that guy was. He was a oh, tough no, guy. He was tough, man. David? So, yeah, yeah, he was nuts. Might be a little hard yeah. to tell, but man, I mean, I for a guy that's what is he five, eight? Yeah, five eight. And he's, oh, he's drops tough, the man. gloves with Olivia like oh, it's six goal. three. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's only one, but and he's got a lot of tilt under his belt, man. Yeah, like, he fought a lot. Yeah, he fought a lot of heavyweights. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He lost a. Uh, I don't oh, think I ever would have been dumb enough to start anything with legs. Yeah. If you think about oh. that. Or Se- Seagull, no offense. I probably wouldn't have fought Seagull either. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah there was a lot of pretty tough dudes in the SP back in those years. Oh, yeah. There was. Hacker was the one for me. I, there, I was one guy. Uh, he pound just got pound out of all the guys I played with in my career. That was no, he's the one the guy. Yeah, by far. He a guy got that small hook hands in his down. Eye too. Hands down. I don't know Could if you guys flip are, a yeah. switch, you know, like yeah. Like I said I, I'm friends with that guy off the ice, hung out a lot. He's one of the nicest dudes to talk and to. 100%. Unbelievable dude. And he'll call you from the fucking yeah. pipeline up there, and he'll just talk for hours. Yep. And but that guy, you know, once once he steps on that ice, it's well. There's a difference between out of the glass and in the glass. Yeah. And he'll tell you. He told me yeah. that. He goes, "I'm a different person when I get in, yeah. in between those glass those panels." Oh yeah. The only other small guy I would say that was like McMillan was Andy Bezo. I don't know so, if you guys remember yeah. Bezo. Oh, yeah. Crazy. That was Bezo another was guy that was run. tiny, but man, yep. he was a heavyweight. Man. Must be one of my favorite players. Not he favorite played here, right? Yeah. Bezo? Yeah, Bezo yeah. played yeah. here a little while. Oh, yeah. so I, I think he was, uh, was he on the top two? Was that three? One. He was 94? 93. 93, 94. Okay. Yeah. yeah, the Cup Team 93. So I remember him on the. 
played for the Vipers, maybe? I don't know. I, I, actually, yeah, I knew yeah, him before. Vipers. Like, I didn't even know he played for the Comets until I came here. So, but he was a small guy that I used to watch his highlights. And everything. Was so, so you're a local book kid. You'll be able to answer this, hopefully. Yeah, yeah so better be able to. Boy. Nobody, yeah, nobody sure. else can. Or they, I, I have to kind of push What you a got? You got uh, Powers or Coney Island? You got a fresh one sitting there, too, by the way. I'll... Uh, which one do you like better? Yeah, that's a tough one. I'm, I'm going to have to go Coney Island. See? Ah, oh, fucking what the hell? Everybody goes I got to go Coney Island, man. I love Coney dogs. And Well, the, the problem is, is these new guys, they've never been to either one of them. Yeah. That's I, me, the I, I've team been to both. thing. I, yeah, that's just a route. I'm all in for powers, too. Don't get me wrong. Right. But it hides shit. I mean, depending on the else. day, hell yeah, Coney Island. I love a Coney oh, yeah. dog. Yep. Maybe do that after the golf outing. So for the for the comments alone, Coney Island. Oh yeah, or some of each. You have them or sponsor. Both. Get them both. Yeah, yeah. there we go. There Nick. you go. So some Coney dogs for lunch. I I told Benny he good needs, for the boys after a, a golf outing. I'm oh, sure. Yeah. I told Benny he needs to do a team event to Coney Island and Powers. Yeah, we need you to know. see who can eat the most. Please go out of it's business. It's not even it's just a matter of who can <laughs> eat the most. It's just that way they can answer our questions. <laughs> Yeah, no shit. None of these fucking new kids, man. They're also nutrition worried that they oh, don't go and yeah, do that yeah. shit. And I'm like, you got to have fun, boys. Oh, yeah. yeah. I played in the era when it was like beers and fast food after games and not like fucking smoothies. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> we were Smoothie pissed. King didn't we're, exist. We were yeah. pissed and we had to go to Spies at yeah. 10 in the morning and have to ride the bike for an hour mandatory because yeah, we wouldn't do it on our own. So. <laughs> Way to give yourself up. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Simmer made you do hey, that shit? Worked oh, out all right for us, I think. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess you guys kind of came out of that ahead. Yeah, only a couple of championships. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just a couple. So speaking. Uh-oh. Bring the ring. Just, yeah. One of them. Nice. Damn, that box is fucking huge. Yes, Did you bring all of them or just a couple? Of, of them. Yeah, I was gonna say, which one's your favorite? Man, I haven't had a. I haven't. Oh, oh, look. oh man! Look at this fucking. Oh my! I thought the fucking thing doing? had a, Come on! I thought maybe they splurged and got some box that opened. I thought it was the ring that fell. No! 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 For you guys that can't see it at home, I haven't got these things out in a while, so it's always nice to kind of. Yeah, Hell yeah! It brings back so many memories. It brings back as many memories for us as it does you guys. Yeah, look, 08 was 56, 12, well, that's 6, the, uh, forge. 2. Oh, man. That's awesome. Oh, this, oh, one. this is the, the back-to-backs. Just in junior one. That's, uh, yeah, that's junior. Were that's you in, uh, I was in Lansing. You were in Lansing. Yeah. And then, I was going to say, me and Leo played. We almost played the championship. Fuck, we played, yeah. we played a lot of years. 56, 12, and 6. That's, yeah. That was that year. Yeah. Just a couple losses, that's all. Did you play straight from midgets? From I went. I played junior B first. That's right. Yeah, and yeah. then I got yep. uh, John Cooper. For some reason, I was thinking we played together. Oh shit! I never sent you a play for some reason. This one goes I, in I, that I box. will give you a third number. That one goes in that box. It's funny because I was going through a bunch of old pitchers and I ran into that my old junior pitcher too, at Lansing back then. Man, yeah. Cooper's in there. Yeah. David Huckle, Space Gym was my favorite place. Space Gym. <laughs> Which one's your favorite ring? Ones? My favorite ring? Out of the Comet ones. Out of the Comet ones? Yeah. Oh, man. This is the one I missed. Shit. Right. Yeah. That was the first one. I don't know, man. I, that was the one. Like, looking oh. one. Sorry. Favorite yeah, looking? Yeah. So, like, the one that... Favorite looking. I like, to be honest with you, I like the Cups one. Yeah. The second yeah, this one. one right here. This one. This yeah. one. Yeah. My favorite. Yeah. Yep. My favorite one, though, was probably my first. Oh, absolutely. The, the first absolutely. championship. This one's cool for me because I never thought I'd like ever wore like, it. Yeah. yeah right? National yep. championship. I hated it at first. But it was... Oh, that's going to say. Yeah. That, that national championship ring is pretty cool to me because yeah, I never thought I'd sweet. never thought I'd see one of those. Man, I tell you what, you know, like that was – it, if it if it wouldn't have been for coming back and playing in my hometown of something that I always wanted to do, that would have been my favorite, you know, championship ring by far. Like that was just yeah, was, the ring, was, the everything, the, everything about that was just the story. You know, like we came in and nobody, 
gave us a fucking sniff. Well, yeah, BC was the favorite. Oh, f- whoever, whoever we weren't, whoever we were playing was the favorite. Yeah. And then yeah. to shove it in everyone's ass <laughs> in the way that we did. That's you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That makes it feel that much better too, right? Yeah. When you're an underdog and people are writing you off. And, yeah, yeah well, but I that I mean, well, what we was it? Oh nine when we came into the season, the second, the second year of the back to backs. The back. Yeah, everybody right thought that we couldn't, that you guys couldn't do it. Yeah, and then you just walked over everybody. And you know, and you was, guys uh, were, you guys were old. Yeah, I yeah, remember right. That. <laughs> what was it? That, but I think that was different though in Fort Wayne. I, I feel like, like he said, I don't think that we were ever. I never felt like we were the underdogs. No, neither did no we. Way. You know what I mean? So that that's why I'm saying like that one was a different feeling just yeah. because of we had zero shot to get that. Yeah, Look, that's so cool. I mean? that's so cool. I got lie. Like, three three to one against Port Huron. I was pretty fucking worried. Oh yeah, see, well, we weren't. We weren't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, it was crazy. We weren't. We knew. Oh, like, like so. All it oh, takes uh, is you're talking about different ones, sir. I wasn't here. Three. So, oh, three. I yeah, thought it was the back. game. The yeah. game where we three to, yeah. Yeah, it was down three, three to one. one series, come yeah. back. Fuck, was that the game that? There you go. Here we go. <laughs> I brought back. I think this might have got brought up. Did it get brought up when Bush was on here? I don't know. Come on. We can relive some of Bush's stories, make sure they're take a shot at Bush. Yeah. He's still watching. So. Birdie. Bush is. Oh, we talked about that. You Wasn't did? Nice? Yeah. yeah, we talked about it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I did I didn't hear I don't think I heard all of Bush's. Yeah. When he got crowd struck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just lit up like a Christmas tree by our, by by our own, by our own demon. It's fucking hilarious. Oh man, one of the oh when Bertram, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that that game? Was that? No, it was in Port Huron. Was in Port Huron. Okay. Yeah. Maybe it's a different because, one. Because <laughs> because I think it was Uncle in playoffs. I think see. it was in playoffs, and we come back to in between period, and the guy they dress in Port Huron, you dress down by. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Remember, and the guys are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. "What the yeah. fuck? What, what the fuck was? What the fuck is going on?" And we're like, I don't know. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we, we don't. About that. I forgot about that one. You remember that? We talked about the like, one. And then yeah. we, I think we yeah, came we back. I think we mm-hmm. were down, and we come back and fucking tied it up and won that game. Yeah, I yeah. think I don't remember that whole. But I just remember the experience. And <laughs> <laughs> did you? Uh, you see Huckalo's comment? No. Yeah, yeah we talked about that last time too. I told the boys. I, I hated them. I tried to uh, Yeah. <laughs> when I was in Bloomington, I asked him to fight every shift. I, <laughs> I could not stand them, man. And then when I got here, he was one of the guys that was just I got close to him right off the bat, man. In respect to the game he played and how he you know, how he attacked <laughs> like but like Brandon said in in playoffs, man, it, he was a different player. Yeah. You yeah. know, during the season he was the laid back guy hanging out in the training room and whatever, pretty quiet, but yeah. um, ultimate teammate, man. Yeah, he he, he, he would time, do man. come 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 game time. He'd do whatever it took to you know to help you win. And, and he was on a score sheet every. Yeah, you know every, what I mean, you look at almost. I bet probably probably wouldn't be a stretch to say 80, 80 75 percent of those playoff games that we had that his name was on that oh, score yeah. sheet somewhere. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, and, he, like, and he's playing like defensive, you know what I mean? He's yeah. The, defensive the last two minutes, kill. the last two minutes you're yeah. up, he's out there taking draws. Or, yep. yep. So he's he definitely block anything too. Yeah. Like, I was afraid yeah. of anything. Really? Uh, guy that was really good with his stick. That's yeah. why I hated Fuck. him. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> we, we kind of unbelievable. played the same. <laughs> unbelievable with his stick pickpocket and, you know, just one of those guys, a sh- like a, a different version of Shaffy. Yeah, like a chef, you know what I mean? Yeah, that guy's hands were so smooth. Jesus Christ! Lizard, yeah, Have I'd, you talked to him at all? I'd hate to call him this because of the guy that goes after, but he's like a, a brother to the Magic Man. Uh, yeah, for <laughs> sure, Datsugesk is just oh, yeah. in a different way. Unreal. Chaffee kind of dropped off the face of the planet there for a while. Yeah, I haven't heard from him back out of Russia. Yeah, I haven't and heard from him forever. What a guy, man! I've known that guy since he first came over here. To Fort Wayne, and I think the '90s was back when like they had the uh, Russian, yeah, the Russian uh, five, Saev, uh, Bastor, like and, and Shafi. Yeah, Siplikov did. Yeah, Siplikov yeah, was back then. Yeah, and, uh, just a couple but ofs. Got yeah. to know that guy when my dad used to be the uh, trainer for the Comets. Yeah, used to stitch guys up and stuff, and I got to know Shafi. So 
I always used to joke with them. Shafi's Leo can attest to this. Leo, or Shafi's kind of one of those guys that he's not real outgoing. You know, he's not the guy that's going to come over and start start a conversation with you. But to talk to him, man, it's it, it, you get some good stuff out of that guy. But I used to always poke oh. at him. Cause he would get uncomfortable when I used to bring up like the old days of, Hey, I used to watch you play as a little kid, you know, and now I'm <laughs> here on the bench. With you right now. That's great. So there's a Datsuk reference already right now. Yeah. I should, I not know. Larry said Shafi was assistant to Datsuk this year. Oh, no kidding. That's awesome. Talk about a random wow. fact right yeah. there, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you, though, dude. Of the, course, Larry knows, too. Right. Man, he's on top of it. That guy, man, I'm telling you. There isn't you. much Larry doesn't know when it comes to so Some of the dirtiest hands I've oh, ever seen sure. from a guy that was 40. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Making 17, 18 year olds look like stupid. Like Jack a jock is laying yeah. way back here. And the tendies. Thing is, <laughs> disgusting. Our own tendies. You know, like. The thing is, we have three of them. Him, just, yeah. PC, Chalker, yeah. and Guido Pui, they're all almost yeah. 40 years old. That's that probably the year you're talking about. Winning cups. Winning cups yeah. and just dominating. So, yeah. Guy is one of the, like, I think we talked about yeah. it when you were That's the strangest guy to get through. He? Like, he has that that persona of, like, hey, don't fuck with me. I don't want to talk to anybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then when you say the right thing, he's like, oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah. You're like, whoa, what? I tell you, I tell you what, man, he's been – for, for me, it's funny because we joke around with him, you know, and it's all in good fun. But I don't know, Phil sticks with water, right? <laughs> yeah, but what a great guy! I mean, really, yeah. like to the to the core, that's probably one of the most caring guys that I played. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. As far as family and just you know, just the, the way he is, treats everybody with respect. He uh, his daughter, that niece, daughter, or something worked for Verizon, and I bought a phone over there one time. She was like, oh, you, you're, I had a Comets hoodie on or polo or something. She goes, hold on, I'm going to make a phone call. And Ten minutes later, Guy fucking walks in the door. Oh, yeah. so he knows me. He comes over and gives me a hug. I was like, holy fuck, she wasn't kidding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, he's, he's that kind of guy. Man. Yeah. He's yeah. Awesome. But he's not smiling or anything. He just walks in with that, that face. Yeah. yeah. He comes over and opens his arms. I was like, what's up, man? <laughs> Never too high years. or too low. He's yeah. just real mellow. Nicest guy. Like I said, when I first got to Fort Wayne, man, and – he was always the first guy on the ice. Yep. Forty minutes before practice, yep. fucking work, working on stuff at a the oldest guy in the team. Yeah. First guy on, last man. guy off. So I looked at that and I was like, cool. Like he he made me do things a lot different after playing with him for sure. Mm -hmm. Like I took I took shit way more serious and yeah, he definitely pushed me for sure. There was a moment I I can't remember. Might have been Flint. You guys were playing and he he got hit hit really hard. Boarded and legs Sweet. fought. Legs killed that guy. Uh, One punched him. See, he just fought. Fuck, you remember that when he fought? I think I was at home. I remember he, he got fucking, a couple. He got of hit them, and then he he fought. And that was uh, the first time I see him fight since probably back when I used to watch him. You know what I mean? As a kid. Yeah. yeah. Now he didn't do it often. It like, took something. Shit. He shredded. You know? like, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. He was now legs free. free. Yeah, legs like tried to kill freak, that guy. Conditioning, physical freak. You know? Still is. Yeah. You look at the guy and it's like, fuck, you see him and he looks better in some he's college kids be, look. He's got to be about 40 years or 50 years old. Yeah, yeah. probably upper 40s. He was low 40s when he retired. I, I hate to put a number on him, but something like that. Yeah, he's getting up there. Yeah, a couple of years. Yeah, he's probably in his 50s. Yeah. 49. Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. We we're trying not to put a number to him, Ed. <laughs> but he looks 25. We'll, we'll give him right. Yeah, he's, he's pretty shredded. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, what else we got? Uh, starting to slow down a little. Yeah, starting to slow down a little bit. Questions. You want a good Larry story? Larry, uh, like you guys know AJ, uh, AJ Jinks. Yeah. So AJ came on the show like a day after he moved to Fort Wayne this year, and Larry comes walking in. He had a fucking Plymouth Juniors jersey on. And that's what AJ played for. And he had never seen that jersey since the day he was in juniors. And that was like, Larry made that dude feel welcome in Fort Wayne immediately. He just came up he was like, he, AJ walked in, he goes, holy fuck. That's funny. <laughs> then we threw him a, like a 70s retro Comets jersey to put on. Because he hadn't had a Comets jersey on yet, right? So we threw him a jersey and, man, everybody went nuts. Yeah, the old Space so Man yeah. logo. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a good dude. If you guys don't know him very well, that's a great guy to get to know. Yeah. He's kind of the old school hockey Mentality, is he? You know, I think we played against him. Well, he's a ten-year pro, so yeah, you would have played, yeah, played, played against 
Yeah. He would have been he started in Cincy. I think where the hell I played against him. Yeah. Cincy, Florida. I think was he eighty three? What year? No, he's, oh, he's, he's old. old. He's young. Eighty yeah, he's five. Older. He's younger than me, so he's a he, ninety. Oh he's no, 90. shit! Is he? Are you serious? Yeah, AJ's I didn't 90. think he was that. Ed's, Say he looks Ed's old. Ed's got it. Ed, yeah, give him he was the born year. in 1990. Yeah. I thought he was a 90. Oh, Same. Okay. But he's been in high school. He's, he's started his pro career in like 09. Started his. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah. No, he started his career in 10 11. Uh, 11 to 12. Yeah. He played in Cincy. He's only 30. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, we need him, Florida. damn it. <laughs> so he's been in the E. For parts of seasons since eleven and twelve. Oh, wow. yeah. Because I played against him when he was in Toledo. That, that last year that I came that out. As you fourteen, son of a bitch, right? First year in Toledo. He's another one of those guys you don't want to play against. No, oh, yeah. I love yeah. to have him with you. He just piss you off to the end. No, I heard nothing about him. Big boy, man. Guy. Yeah, he's big. Yeah, he's a big guy. Big boy and does so does it all. His but... sticks are sitting right over. By the way, if anybody your, wants I any more, post yeah, you go. I got three more yourself. AJ Jenks sticks. If anybody wants one, hundred bucks. And you realize how tall this some bitch is when you stand next to it, and it's as tall as fucking you are. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, yeah, he's a big boy, man. Yeah, he's a big dude. So left-handed, signed, game used. Get a hold of me. So, yeah, we don't have, we don't really have anything else, man. I guess we can just kind of sit here and drink beer for a little bit. Good. And, uh, better sh- if you guys got any stories to yeah. finish us off yeah you have anything to finish us off each uh, if anybody knows where leo's love guru jersey is fucking tell us so we can get it for him yeah that'd be, that'd be <laughs> awesome man. it's gone there's no way. no we're gonna find I'm sure, somebody's like, uh, got it larry somewhere. is I'm going sure to the find people this in the studio kept it you know uh, what i mean or, that doesn't mean we can't get it <laughs> hey if you get it i'll definitely pay you for it so that'd be awesome what, what larry it's an larry or a help replica, we'll, we'll find you yeah world. yeah did you you have a replica or they give you anything well, or? I remember i told you guys last time man i just kind of i had out. to get back to like training camp or yeah you season. just kind of cut out but i was like i had to get out of there man so i didn't even like get them for it you know yeah. what i mean i just took off we will find that jersey I've, I've looked i've been looking i got like i got all the equipment like got all the lead pants and stuff like that yeah. that we use but I didn't get the, jersey. the one thing i wanted I right yeah that's you know the I mean? one that is so. hey uh cross wants to know if we can get the hhl going next year if it's cold enough let's try it man we're gonna we're trying to get him back up here to play men's it's, league it's, with in limbo. it's in limbo it's in limbo larry wants to know what's your favorite comic growing up my favorite comic growing up that's, that's another hard one too well it's because uh, there were so many of those uh, there's guys. so many and you know so many of those guys are what shaped me to you know i was talking to Going back to Patrick, I was talking to him about this the other day. Is there were so many guys when I was younger that that I don't know took me and not took me under their wing. I don't know if that's the word, but did yeah, everything did, yeah. did everything that they needed to do in order to instill to hockey, hockey passion inside of me, mm-hmm. and it made me want to play for Fort Wayne more than you know. As fucked up as this sounds, like going through college. I didn't dream of really, I, I, not that I didn't dream, I guess I shouldn't say that, but I dream more of coming back to Fort Wayne to play at the Coliseum than I did going to fucking the NHL. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's what it was to me because of those well, guys. That was instilled in us when we were Ch- kids. Chinner. Chinner's, obviously. I think Chinner talked to Shrocky. Chinner's Leaf, one of the Leafer, guys. Leaf was one for me. Leafer. Uh, shit. Dustin Vierak Ian Boyce. Ian Boyce was my favorite player growing up. Yep. Nice. Another African American player. Another brother. Fletch. Yeah. Fletch. <laughs> Fletch. Love Fletch. Fletch was one for me. Uh, that's, and, that's his favorite. Uh, McDonald. Kevin McDonald. I forgot Andy about Bezo. Him. Bezo, I remember. Richie Richardson. Uh, Kelly Hurd. Oh, Hurdsy. I, you know, I'm like, that's, an, that's another guy. Too. Yeah. That's another guy. There's always working, damn it. You know, that I, I uh, <laughs> we were at my cousin's party one year. And uh, he was there, and I was like, you know, I brought it up. It was a bunch of firefighters, and brought it up. I said, hey, you know, like, you remember me? Like when I used to used to sign my autographs and sign my shirt and shit like that, and uh, <laughs> kind of put that. Yeah, man, so many guys that that uh, you know just made me want to be. They wanted me to. I wanted to come back to Fort Wayne so bad. It was like one of my biggest dreams was to play. Yeah, at the Coliseum, more so than. 
you know, like after, after state, I had some opportunities to go elsewhere. Yeah. Probably. I can't say they, that they would have been better opportunities, but you wouldn't have the memories today that you had. No, that. absolutely not. And it was something that I didn't give, I didn't give a fuck what I got offered. I was coming back to Fort Wayne yep. first, you know, like that was just number had one. To check so that I'm off. going there. Yeah. I had to check it off. Yeah. And then everything that happened with, Winning a shit ton. Winning the championships, <laughs> but then the heartbreak of, you know, right after, or right before I had heart, or heart or hip surgery, uh, you know, I had the chance to get called up there and never happened, never paid out. So. Yeah. But that yeah, was. Did you read Leo, or, uh, Larry's comment? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. What <laughs> I'm telling you, we're going to find that fucking jersey. You're going to find it. <laughs> That'd be awesome. It's out there somewhere. Find it, <laughs> frame that shit, and be good. Huck's a little late. He said you should talk about some of the stick pranks you did to Gee. Uh, we already brought that up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought maybe there was more. Yeah, Kyle, uh, that pranks. was it. That was the, <laughs> the stick prank. Yeah. Kyle Cross said you're the smoothest skater that he ever played played with growing up. Ah, insane. I appreciate that, but I don't. I don't think that uh, I took that one either. Well, his eyes are fucked up. Too. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> crazy, yeah? yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I love him, man. I'm trying to get him up here what to play a, men's league with us next yeah. year. He's oh, still got a, a shot guy. on him. Used to, used to play so many days with that guy on the road and his his family. Good dude. Yeah, unbelievable guy. But... Now if we just get him out of fucking Kentucky, we'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> no offense, or maybe it is Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there isn't much more, man. So we could uh, we'll go ahead and end this guy. We can kind of chill for a little while. So absolutely, we're gonna have to put some pictures of those rings on, though. Yeah, yeah for sure. Asking pictures. those pictures. I appreciate you guys having me, man. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I would talk to my wife and something I kind of look forward to. You know, like yeah. I'm sure he said the same thing. Like you don't, you know, once you you're do once you're done, thing. you don't really yeah. like. You know, it went back to how fast it happened for me. I never really got the chance to wind down. I told this to Shrocky. The night that he had his uh, the, the eye. induction, yeah, his oh. induction, and I said, "Hey, you know, like if I can give you some advice, I said, just fucking take a second and soak it in." Oh yeah, you know, like stop, don't think about any, just soak it in because. And I told him this, I think, when he quit, when he was done, is I never, I didn't have that chance, you know, like it, it just all happened so fast. I went to work like a couple of days after yeah, I true, fucking yeah. left the comments, and it was just gone. That was it. I never had that chance to sit back and and really talk about it and relive some of that shit that you know, like we put in fucking yeah, thirty fucking years into something and it's fucking gone like that. Yep, one day gone. You know, like yeah. So I think it's it's fun to do shit like this and you know, like it's like tomorrow's gonna be fun for me and yeah, like it led to me doing that shit that I was telling them earlier and then. All this stuff I've got stored in my garage from championships I've started to put up. And oh, nice, yeah. It's just kind of motivation, I guess. So I'm yeah, to get this shit out. And well, that's why we're. That's why we do. We want to do that alumni party every year. Yeah, it gets all you guys together, and like we can all just chill and drink and. Yep. August fifteenth. Nice. Hopefully. So, Jesus. Yeah. I have to make sure I'm off of work. Definitely. For sure. You'll be off yeah. this year, <laughs> goddamn it! You weren't. You were on vacation last yep. year. In the keys. <laughs> yeah, you were coming home that day. So. Yep. This year will be better. We're going to make it a weekend long deal this year. So we can all go play golf like we were suggested the other night. Yep. And uh, I like it. Get snookered the day before. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so what? Well, all right. So, anyways, we appreciate everybody watching. There's a shit ton of people for the last two hours. It's been two hours already. Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, it was daylight when we started. Yeah, yeah, no, so. right. yeah we got an hour and 50 minutes yeah. in right now. Yeah, nice. so. Um, we'll be what back. Blast, man. Thanks. We'll be back again uh, this weekend or the weekend after. I don't fucking know. One day. Uh, Shasma's right. coming next. So I'll let you know. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, or Chalker, if we can get him to show up. <laughs> I know you're watching some bitch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, he'll like that. Yeah. yeah. Correct. <laughs> All right, everybody. Send we'll me my call up letter. <laughs>